Time for our next matchup. It's in the welterweight division. That's 170 pounds. Allison Jonas versus Mark Antonio. Here's how they match up on Tail of the Tape, Billy. See a little bit of a height, you know, got an extra inch for Marco. The weight is the same, and the biggest thing that sticks out, both guys on a seven-fight winning streak. So both guys are very familiar with getting their hand raised. We're going to see what happens tonight in Brazil. And two young studs as well, 25 years old and 24 years old, respectively. Gas tank will be full all night long. Yep. You know, this is number three versus number four, so the winner here is probably going to take top rank, possibly, and it's be a serious contender for the title. Mark Antonio's in the pink Muay Thai trunks, and Allison Jonas is in the black with the blue gloves. Yep, Jonas has that karate background. It'll be very interesting to see Antonio with the traditional Muay Thai background. So a karate versus Muay Thai fight here with two high-level strikers. Jonas with the tattoos all over yeah. his face. <laughs> yeah. Antonio, which you know, looked like he stopped at the neck. Antonio no, said, I'm the good, two, I'm good. <laughs> that, between the two of them, there's 50 fights. I mean, that's a lot of experience that in there. That is insane. And at such a young age, in their mid-20s, with that many fights, these guys got so much experience. You know, a huge win here gets them you know, right in that title title shot contention. Oh, for sure. Allison Jonas has a black belt in karate and a brown belt in kickboxing. Oh, oh nice. Ooh, Antonio wow. doing a great job countering those punches. He's doing a great job letting big shots off those counters. So does the ink give the fighters power? Because uh, you see all the fighters have ink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any tattoos yet. That's but, why uh, you're not the champion. I, 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 I gotta start getting tatted up. I don't know if I should start right with the neck tat or go right to the face. Go right or to what. the face. Right. Yeah, your wife will love that. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh man. By the way, I think congratulations are in order, Billy Quarantillo, thank on your you, thank you, newborn thank you, thank baby. You. Thank you. I'm starting to get that dad strength now, so you know. Is it baby ready <laughs> kicking? He's yes, got, yes, he's, he's, yellow got, belt, he's got nice belt. long legs. <laughs> right, he's, he'll, be, he'll be in the gym soon. Uh, oh, sure. Jonas with some big kicks off there, but Antonio controlling the fight. See, he's got it you know, in the center of the cage, both guys in that traditional righty stance. Some big combos here by Antonio. But good head movement from Jonas. Mm -hmm. That karate base, they focus a lot on their defenses. You said seven consecutive wins, seven wins by knockout for Jonas. You know, we're very excited that next month we're going back to our regional uh, gymnasium, the, the arena. We've been doing the small arena, which is, we've got 500,000 people outside trying to get in every show. So oh, man. They were fixing the rule for the other place, so we're going to get back next month. How exciting. That is Oh, crazy. big spinning hook kick. Big leg kicks there, those are gonna add up. Good first round for the welterweights and good respect shown by the Brazilians. All right, round two here, a great scrap so far between Allison Jonas and Mark Antonio. Good back and forth action. Who do you guys think won that first round? I'll go with, I'll go with Billy. Uh, go, go with what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think Antonio probably, he controlled the cage. He landed mm -hmm. some big shots. Jonas did land a nice spinning hook kick at the end of it. But I think because of the cage control, Antonio probably edged it out. Oh, a little bit of an eye poke here. Eye poke. And that's the question, you know, like last impressions is what sticks the most. Does it affect, it shouldn't because they got to judge for the whole round as a round. But if you, if you have a strong last 30, 45 seconds, would that sometimes help you win the round even though you shouldn't have won the round? Definitely know as a fighter, you know, my coaches will be telling me short time left, 30 seconds left, and you know what that means. It means if you can get a big takedown, if you could land a big combo, uh, that could win you the round. You can kind of steal the round at the end if it's a close round. So I know as a fighter, that's what I'm looking for as the round end, ends and, and closes out. So they just had a nice close-up of Jonas's eye, and I'm guessing he's a, he's a fighter who could take a lot of pain around the eyes, given how close those tats were yeah. to his eye, right? That's a lot of needles. So I'm sure he's not gonna be too affected by that eye poke. He looked like he went, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
And Antonio doing a great job. I love how he throws that right kick and that right punch right off it. He's landed that right punch over and over again. You see him land it again there. Jonas is doing a good job landing those leg kicks, but we're gonna see which one adds up first or, or faster. And it's such a nice kind of, it's the way he's kind of turning his hips into that kick. He's really got some great Muay Thai experience. You can just tell the way he's working that outside oh. leg. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah. Splash him. Antonio doing a great job controlling the cage, but Jonas is landing some big shots on the outside, and he keeps going back to that low kick. We're going to see if that's going to affect Antonio and slow him down at all, because that leg kick is, is coming every time. The Muay Thai kick is probably the most powerful kick out there, isn't it? I, just, in my opinion, I think so. Just, it's it gets so to much torque on it. The way they, you know, they switch it, and this is that classic karate versus Muay Thai. It's been the age old, which one, you know, which martial art is best? Oh, Ooh. that landed. He felt that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. that's huge. Oh, knockdown. he felt that. And yeah. that might be it. He doesn't look like he's, he's not coming up. Yeah, he doesn't look like he wants any more. Antonio doing a great job landing that huge combo with those punches, and that might be all for Jonas. Yeah, that's it. He's done. So he had his hands up, but the ref still didn't like what he saw, and he called it. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped the combat in one minute, 53 seconds in the round number two. The winner by knockout, Marco Antonio. So Antonio coming up with another win to move to 24 and six at just 24 years old. He won in his last SFT Extreme as well. He's starting to become an SFT Extreme fixture here in Sao Paulo. Yeah, that puts him right in the title contention. Um, and, you know, both guys, ton of talent. I'm sure they both have bright futures in this sport.